We adore thee. <coughs> Okay, here we are again. We're going to do what we always do so you can be encouraged that we are reaching a lot of folks. Uh, Mary's been sick a couple of weeks, and uh, we, we can't read all these, but these are letters that we get from people around the country and around the world. As John Cameron Swayze used to say, whoever he was, what he would say on the evening news, 1957, <clears throat> around the country and around the world, brought to you by Timex, a watch that takes a licking and keeps on ticking. That's exactly what he said. I remember commercials out of the 40s. I remember commercial... Pepsi-Cola hits the spot, 12 full ounces, that's a lot, twice as much for a nickel, too. Pepsi-Cola is the drink for you. That's about 1946, because the Coke was six ounces and the Pepsi was 12 ounces. <laughs> well, I just can't forget, I can't forget those little songs. We are, we are on TV all over the country in about 200 different towns and cities from I just want you to know you're reaching a lot of people. That's why we read these, and I want you to know how they feel. Uh, these are folks that 
that are uh, that are looking for the truth. They love the truth. Most of them. Some of them want to give me a hard time. Uh, but we're on in New York City, all five boroughs, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, Manhattan, the Bronx. We're on all over Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Beaumont, San Antonio, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. We're on out in Los Angeles, up in Alaska, over in Hawaii. And these people are watching us. Uh, and and uh, a whole bunch of towns in between, all over Kansas and so forth. And uh, this uh, brother M. Hodi in Nigeria writes to us on a regular basis. He watches us on the internet there, and we mail him DVDs. Hello once again. I've been sick for a while now, but I needed to thank you folks for a new consignment of teaching DVDs you sent me recently. Keep me and my family in your prayers. God bless you all. Brother M. Hode in Nigeria. We love you, brother. And then Lancy D'Souza writes us from India. She watches us on the internet there. Uh, dear brother, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for the three DVDs. May the Lord richly bless you all. Agape Lancy D'Souza in India. And then uh, Chris Jackson, been talking to him a lot lately. He's in Nevada. Uh, dear brother, this, make, this is making a lot of waves. I used to, I used a scientific software, Stellarium, fast forward, it to 9-23-2017. No, I'm not into satanic astrology, so forgive the figures. Well, he's talking about, he's got these figures of part of the uh, stars, uh, part of the zodiac. Uh, however, in relation to Revelation 12, 1 through 3, astronomer says this will happen 9-23-2017. 2017, the morning after the end of the Feast of Trumpets of this year, a closing to the 2016-17 Jubilee year. Well, you got to be careful when you start saying Jubilee year. It was man that declared Israel a nation May 14, 1948, not God. He, we don't know when he declared him a nation again. When you're trying to say the year of Jubilee, you can't date 50 years from 1948 because this is all in the mind of God. Uh, then uh, woman clothed with the sun. The woman clothed with the sun is Israel producing Christ. Don't be confused by these people. A crown of 12 stars and so forth. Please tell me I'm not crazy. Well, you're not crazy. Just watch out what you conclude without knowing the scriptures. Uh, then Stephen Fior, he writes to us, on a regular basis, sons of God marry the daughters of men explained. Uh, angels did not sleep with women. Stephen Fior, spirits can have sex with humans. You can't find that anywhere in the Bible. Or else we wouldn't have Jesus. No, that's the Holy Spirit, not spirits. And it's not sex they had. God placed that seed there. Uh, Mary conceived of the Holy Spirit, but there wasn't a sexual act. Be careful what you start concluding. I Don't just say, I found something here and yank it out, out of context. Uh, and then got a comment, YouTube comment on, uh, on the message, predestination, faith, daily cross, the narrow way, baptism, tribulation, and self-denial. Scorpio on 888, I've learned a huge deal about the Bible. First Bible teacher I've ever seen doing it the way he does, using the Greek Hebrew words together with their meaning solving the things really said in the Bible. Praise God that I can watch these studies while I'm in Pentecostal Catholic mush gospel Netherlands. Get out of that. Don't say in Pentecostal Catholic stuff. That's false doctrine. We love you, though. Keep writing. Uh, Michael Toms writes to us a comment on when is Jesus coming back? When these things begin, know that it is even at the doors. Thank you, Jim. This is Michael Toms. Thank you, Jim, for your sermons, and thank you for the DVDs that come in the post. They all help my walk with the Lord in comprehending truth. Thank you, Michael. Louis Accardi writes uh, and says, it, he's commented on a sign of the end, apostasy. Uh, Louis Sicardi, Jim, sorry, but Christian baptism is different than Jewish washings. 
No, it's not that you were explaining. You don't know about the proselyte baptism. I've already read this. Even John the Baptist's baptism that was involved in performing was different than the Jewish washings for converts. No, it wasn't. John the Baptist called the Jews to repentance who thought they were chosen and didn't need anything because they were born Jews. You're making this awful simple. You don't know the, the meaning of baptize, baptizo with bapto, cover with a stain or die, and a blood baptism was a martyrdom, and now there's only one baptism, and it is blood. Uh, Christian, I'm not going to read the rest of that. He's confused. Uh, then I got a comment on a message, predestination, why people do not believe it. God has not revealed to them their wicked hearts. Uh, Teddy writes, wonderful teaching, Jim. May God be praised. Thanks and agape. And then Clinton Balthazar very faithful uh, writer uh, commented on predestination. It's in the Bible. Believe it. Uh, thank you, Pastor Jim, for taking the cover off. Thank you, Clinton, for being so encouraging. Mark DePass in Canada watches us on the Internet. Greetings, Jim and Mary. I've been following your message now for the last three weeks and been feasting all I can daily. I'm over here in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, and I wish... I had a group to fellowship with locally. We have a lot of people that say that. I was tied up in a message for the last 15 years founded upon William Branham's teaching. Get away from William Branham. That guy, is he thinks he was a special prophet of God, and there was a, they've got a picture of him with a light over his head like a halo, and he's walking around, and he's way out in left, hill, left field Pentecostal. I thought I was in the truth and would never need to look any look elsewhere. I was led here after a grueling three months searching the Internet and kind of comparing teachings or messages with what I was holding on to for the last while. However, I've always held to predestination and many truths that you admonish. If you will reply, I've, I've tried to download these Internet tracks, but they won't for some reason. Let me know if they are available any other way and hoping to hear from you soon. Thanks, Brother Mark DePass in Canada. Thank you, Mark. Get away from Branham's teachings there. The guy is twisted. He thinks he's an angel. He thought before he died he was an angel from heaven. Uh, Billy Willis, no, Keith Penn writes. Keith Penn, P-E-N-N. -N. Hello, Jim and Mary. Hope all is good in Tennessee. Jim, we recently watched 3618, I just love the prayer you wrote in the sermon. If possible, could you send me a copy, please? Also, could you send me a package you send out with papers on holidays and other material and put me back on the mailing list? Thanks so much. Phileo Keith Penn in Roanoke, Virginia. And then Rick Bryant commented on the Euphrates drying up is our economy drying up at the end of time? How can I get this lesson? Thank you, Rick Bryant. We'll mail that out to you, Rick. Uh, greetings, family. This is from Ricky Jenkins. Ricky's a faithful follower. He's been over here to visit us. He's in Oklahoma City. Greetings, family. Upon reflection, I don't think I made it clear how it frustrates me to witness. I can't recall scripturally to confidently witness I miss many opportunities because of limited recall. I've not been forthright in my explanation of why I must have DVDs to do an effective job. Thanks, my friend, for your understanding. Shalom, Shabbat, Agapao. Ricky Jenkins, Oklahoma City. We love you, Rick. Take care and keep going. Uh, and then a comment from uh, uh, 1414, I guess that's his online name. Uh, comment on predestination, why people leave the truth, they hate the daily cross, their God is their belly. Amazing, Jim, the truth always hurts the most. Truly great work. Thank you, we appreciate that. And then a comment from uh, All American, writes on Israel is the ten horns of the beast, an everlasting kingdom that destroys Babylon. I don't have an hour for you to convince me that Israel is the ten horns. Get to the point. N not everyone is new at this Bible thing. Well, the Lord told Israel, 
As long as you're obedient to me, I'll fill up your back. Wombs will be full of healthy babies. And if you're disobedient to me, I'll send the sword, the famine, the pestilence. Well, excuse me. If you're obedient, you'll go against your enemy one way and they'll flee seven ways. It doesn't matter how many there are. But if you're disobedient, I'll send this sword, the famine, the pestilence. Then I'll finally send someone against you that'll whip you. What gave the beast power over Israel was their disobedience to God. And what brought that disobedience into Israel, according to Micah, the first chapter, was Samaria, northern Israel, the ten tribes. They yielded up their power to whip everybody in the world. Israel could beat anybody. They took 7,000 7, fighting men and went against 120,000 Syrians and just ripped them apart. Uh, Samson took the jawbone of an ass and killed 1,000 Philistines. Uh, Asa took an army and went, took half a million in his army and went against a million Ethiopians who had 300 chariots of iron. That's the And you couldn't beat that, but they did when they were obedient to God. Disobedience in your life will cause the world to run over you. And that's what we need to learn. Uh, comment on Israel is the ten horns of the beast. And uh, all Americans says, God bless you. Uh, comment on the American lie, democracy and the Pledge of Allegiance. We're not a republic. Uh, we're supposed to be, but we're not. We're not even a democracy. Uh, democracy, capitalism has the same meaning as demon, demonion, distribute fortunes. You look it up yourself. Open up a, open up a uh, Webster's Dictionary, look up capitalism. It'll say to distribute the fortunes to the individual of companies and railroads and so forth. It says the same thing as demonion, demon, meaning to distribute fortunes. Uh, Leslie Johns writes uh, on democracy and pledge of allegiance. I think that was an old message. Uh, I love the young Jim. Okay. <laughs> the young Jim. I guess I was. I was in my 50s when I preached that. Donna Cook writes on the American lie, democracy, and the pledge of allegiance. Thank you for this. And then... Uh, I'll read this one tonight. This is a long one here. And then I've got a bunch of letters that I just can't get to. I'll kind of tell you who's writing. Uh, we get all kinds of letters and emails. And Let me move this over here. I'll read some of these tonight. We got... Uh, these are people that are constantly contacting us. Uh, got a, well, here's some phone calls. Then we got a letter from Vernon Chapman in Glenwood, Illinois, and, and an offering. Uh, Frank Nicolosi, very faithful brother up in Beverly, Massachusetts, writes us all the time, supports us. Jose Guerrero in Fort Worth, Texas. Vivian Barber in Beaumont, Texas. The Emans out in Polyup, uh, Washington State, they all watched us on the internet. Ida Lewis, Maywood, Illinois. Cherie Woodard, Lebanon, Tennessee. Bertha Winters in Washington, D.C., faithful supporter, stays with us. David Wright, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Cindy Coward, Phoenix City, Alabama. Bill and Tammy McKernan, Castle Rock, Colorado. Dallas B Bonifante, Miami Lakes, Florida. I don't know who this is. Uh, another one's from Bertha Winters. Dan Hawk, dear brother down in Florida, stays in touch with us. Anthony Nelson, Washington, D.C. James Oates, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, Laurel Smith out here in, uh, I believe she's in 11 or somewhere like that. Uh, then uh, Kathleen Thomas, very faithful supporter. We love you guys down there in Fort Worth. Kim Sinkowitz, dear brother, out there in Des Moines, Iowa. 
Ron Mayer down, Ron Mayer in Swannanoa, North Carolina. Clinton Derricks Carroll, he's the actor out in Hollywood. He was on Red Fox's show. Uh, he played Aunt Esther's nephew on there. And he was the fella on uh, Sliders, the black fella on Sliders. And uh, he loves this message. His father was a gospel songwriter. His father wrote, uh, when God dips his pen of love in my heart, writes my soul a message he wants me to know. Y'all remember that? His spirit all divine. It's a sinful soul of mine when God, when God did his love in my heart. That was written by his father. He's got a twin. Clinton Derrick Scarlett's got a twin. And he hates me. <laughs> That's funny how God will touch one heart and the other one they won't like it. Conwell Scott's got a twin. Conwell loves this truth and his brother doesn't. Strange, isn't it? Michael Bates, Mapleton, Georgia. Thank you, Michael, for supporting the ministry and being a friend. Uh, Lord James and Malap. Manalapan, New Jersey, Kelly Rogers, London, Ohio, uh, Carolyn Robinson out in Oklahoma, uh, Tracy Cruz in Oklahoma, uh, Lamont Boney in uh, Brooklyn, New York, faithful supporter, Wendy Benson, Garland, Texas, Diane Gaines, Swannanoa, North Carolina, Fred Garner, faithful supporter up there in Chicago, Desmond Bernard, he, come and see us, Desmond, just loves this truth. Stephen Chappell, Chappell, I guess, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I uh, don't know who that is. Somebody up in Chicago, Charlie Taylor, Indian Trail, North Carolina, um, Terry Jones, Oklahoma City, every week, Martin Elsie, Elsie Martin in Memphis, Tennessee. I'll read these others tonight. I just don't have time to read everything. All right, that's enough there. And then I'll put these over here and uh, get my Bible and get ready. Okay, remember our announcements. We're on TV every night in Nashville, 8.30. Uh, that's on Comcast Channel 49 every night. And we're on Sunday morning. I was watching this morning before I come to church and made myself think. And uh, we're on every Sunday morning at 8.30. We're on twice, 8.30 to 10, 10 to 11.30. And then we're on twice on Wednesday night. Uh, I recorded just to kind of double check everything. And we're on Wednesday night twice, starting at 8.30 to 10, 10 to 11.30. And then... Uh, we were on radio every Saturday morning, if you want to listen to that. That's on WNQM, 1300 on the AM dial. And uh, are these all spirits down here? I just wondered. It just all of a sudden I realized, y'all trying to stay away from me or what? <laughs> Afraid I'm going to say something that's going to make you mad. Uh, huh? Who is? They're coming in? Okay. All right, uh, it's, and it's good to see everybody here. Uh, we're, well, I'll have some more coming in because we, we've, uh, of course, Scott and Dee come back from the mission field and they got four kids. And then we have uh, Dan and Savannah moved here with their seven children from, uh, Colorado Springs, so they ought to be walking in any minute. All of a sudden, we'll have flying children around here. And uh, remember our needy people. We support the needy. I have a real heart for needy people because there's a lot of people that can't make a living. They don't make a living. They need our help. And I check these people out. If somebody, once in a while, I'll get taken but not often. I, I check people out before we start supporting them. We got about about $1,300 a month, sometime up to sixteen, seventeen, that we give to the needy. So if you want to help the needy believers, some of them make four or 500 a month and they're trying to live on that. So if you want to, there they come. 
Somebody opened the door and looks like the flood's coming in. All the youngins from there they are. Boy. They bring the overflow in, don't they? <laughs> they don't try to remember all their names, it's awful hard. <laughs> all right. But you want to help the needy send your check, make it to Grace and Truth <coughs> Ministries, and uh, we'll get it into their hands. Or you can send a gift card if you want to, however you want to do it. Just be sure and put on the bottom of your check for the needy. We're still, we're hoping that God will open up many doors for the mission ministries. What we're doing, we're coming up with every idea we can for Scott and D and their kids here, uh, we're still supporting the. It's still uh, Grace and Truth Ecuador. So if you want to support them, they're meeting here every Tuesday night. Uh, every Tuesday night, and Scott is teaching these truths that I teach in Spanish. We're reaching out to look for groups of Spanish-speaking people that don't know. English very well, so they can uh, come and hear these truths. We're going to try to uh, be getting out flyers to Spanish-speaking communities so they can watch on the internet if they want to, or watch on the TV. Uh, we're trying to get Scott. Have y'all made any success, Scott, on getting on TV in Hendersonville? We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay, and then we want to see if we can get him on TV in Nashville to reach the Spanish community. Uh, we're not stopping just because they moved back here. Uh, we're reaching out across the world in Spanish, and there's Spanish-speaking people all over the world. There are a lot of them here in Hendersonville. They're in every town in America, so we're looking for the avenues to get them. There's a lot of them in Springfield, too. Yeah, they're all over the place, yeah. but the key is how do you get this message in front of them? That's the key. And we need to pass out flyers, uh, put them up in stores and in wherever. We're going to try to take out some newspaper ads and, uh, and uh, see what we can do. I'm going to be behind this from now on. We're doing something with this Spanish-speaking ministry that no one else in America is doing in Spanish. Scott is preaching predestination, <coughs> Christmas is pagan, Easter is pagan, death to self, daily cross, self-denial. All these holidays are pagan. And he's preaching that in Spanish from this pulpit on Tuesday nights. If you speak Spanish and you want to come and listen, how do you get on your website, Scott? It's, it's just grace and truth. Except in oh, it's on our, our website. You could go on our website and click on the Spanish on the Spanish messages and you can watch what he's doing, okay? And uh, please support them. We're not going to stop doing this. It takes, a, I told Scott the other day, I said, don't get discouraged. It takes time for something to build. We met in my living room, in my den, for five, six years with four and five and six people until... A guy come along, started filming it and putting us on TV, and, and we were on our way. So, anyway, uh, we have our picnic coming up just in a few weeks, uh, June the 17th, right here in Hendersonville, down here on the lake at Rockland Recreation Center. Everybody, everybody come and, and uh, bring your whatever, your covered dishes and uh, we would really we want to see everybody there and if you're coming from out of town look at our website they've got the suggested motels right here on Main Street where the church is you have Relax Inn down here and <coughs> in town suites down here and above Relax Inn you've got a Holiday Inn so uh, and you got all kinds of motels around here and they're reasonable prices all right uh, and then we'll have our chili cookout October the 14th this year in the same place, same spot, 
so just come and join us. Uh, we're glad to have uh, uh, Frederick, Mauricia, uh, Murphy uh, here. There's, that's Frederick. And they, Frederick's in the Army. Is that it? Army? Did I get it right? And uh, he's kind of a, an adventurous man, I guess. They made you adventurous, didn't they? They require it. He said he's got to go to Korea. And uh, that's insane over there. They got, they got a crazy man running North Korea. And we don't know what. He's threatening uh, nuclear warheads and everything else. There's going to be wars and rumors of war at the end of time. That's what we're headed into. This is no telling what's going to happen in Korea. I mean, forget ICs and those guys for a while. You've got a maniac in charge over there. I don't know if y'all know that. He's, uh, uh, is that Dong Chao Ping? Is that, have I got the right guy? Is that him? He's a nut case. He's young, and he thinks he can take over the world. He's kind of like Adolf Hitler. I don't, did y'all know that was going on? He's crazy. He's as crazy as ISIS is. If he starts dropping bombs, this thing's going to get rough before it's over with. Anyway, uh, we're glad to have Frederick Maurice in. Maurice's mom. Where's mom? Right there. Margie Charlton from over in uh, in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, and uh, it's good to see you here, and uh, good to see tall Tony back there. He's got four kids, and they're all that tall, <laughs> just about as tall as he is. <laughs> Are those guys catching up with you? Are those guys catching up with you? And he's feeding them. <laughs> Golly. Go huh? Go figure. Yeah. You got four giants in his house trying to feed them. I'm, I'm, well, I, will, I started to say I'm glad that's you, not me, but that wouldn't be very Christian, would it? <laughs> Woo. All right. Do we have any other new people here? I don't see any. Good to see Russ and Joe and their brood back there. And uh, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss somebody that we hadn't seen in a while. All right. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, as we pray, Frederick, would you pray for us? Gracious Father, we thank you for the truth. We just thank you for the grace of your family. We just thank you for your elect. We ask that you continue to encourage us <coughs> and keep us. Allow us to have the hearing ear and the seeing eye to know your truth. Let us be an encouragement to one another for such a time as this. Bless those who are <coughs> who are hearing this message that Jim is preaching to the elect. We just ask that your will be done in all of our lives. We just ask that your will be done in this world. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your word falling, falling on our hearts. Let our hearts be willing to receive it. And again, may we be there for one another in the grace of your family. <coughs> we pray in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Frederick. Frederick works in the military with the chaplains. Uh, that's got to be a very tight walk you walk in there because you got to do a lot of things and you may not believe in it, but I guess they require a lot. Jim, we're going to huh? off Ustream for a second we'll restart it. What'd you say? We're going to cut Ustream off and restart it. You can cut it off and restart What do you want me to do? Oh, okay. I didn't know if you wanted me to do something. 
uh, Mike's going to cut you stream off and restart it. Those of you all that are walking out, there, watching out there, okay? <coughs>